Hi guys. Well, I bought this paper. I've got the 8x8 and it says it's the first edition. It's a gorgeous blue. If anyone liked the um, Christmas one that come out with the girl, I can't remember what it's called now, um, you're gonna love this because it's that same sort of um, fairy tale sort of vibe on it. Um, so this, as I said, this is um, the 10 double faced sheets, acid free, and this is the eight by eight. So let's go through this. Look at the images on the front. You can cut them out and use them on tags or smaller projects. Aren't that gorgeous? Sorry about the shadowing. It's my camera because I've got the light above, you see. And then the first page is like this with all the little sentiments. Really pretty. Then we've got a lovely castle. I should put this down now. We've got a lovely castle and it says once upon a time the sleeping beauty. And then we've got some text there. Lovely castle that is. And then we've got a um, sheet. See, it's a, the, the papers are very like scroll um, paper and that. This is a lovely page, like. Look at the blues and the beiges all mixing in with that sort of slight red colour. It's like a, it's a, like a very um, muted red colour. It's really nice. And we've got a little fairy there. I can get it in a bit. There we go. There she is there fairy a little cradle at the bottom and then we've got this lovely page as well with like newspaper at the well book page at the back then we've got this table with a great feast and this one here and then sleeping beauty outside and there's always a little um, saying on there. I'm not going to read them out. I just wanted to show you how pretty this paper pad is. Yeah, and there. Isn't that gorgeous, that one? Absolutely beautiful. She lay beautiful as an angel. lovely sort of it looks like Victorian wallpaper it's really nice with the flowers and then there's Prince Charming with the horse and then this nice paper here and then them together really pretty And I love this page. Um, I may consider getting the 12 by 12 paper just because I like this paper here as well. I love the way it's designed, the layout of it. It's really nice, to, it's interesting to look at. And then we've got Make a Wish for the cake, Once Upon a Time, Happy Ever After with the Prince and Sleeping Beauty, and then Dreams Come True with the Courage. Lovely card toppers, or you could use them as planner, journal um, cards, all that. And then they lived happily ever after. And then we've got this rose design on there. And then we've got the little, um, I think they're probably two inches. Um, you can make your ATCs or that out of those or cut them out of lovely little designs and then you've got this beautiful I like this as well I really very much like this patterns and all that in there 
it's got a lot of interest as well and then you can fussy cut these pieces out and they're not too small they're really nice I like those and um, yeah there's a back cover and there's a front so I bought that and uh, I got these ones as well these cut these are the sleeping beauty but the project i'm doing these are a tad too small so i won't be using them on this project on another project yeah um i love the shape of these windows but i have got some that's crafty ones and i will be doing um i will be using a that's crafty one in my project because it's just the right size these are a tad too small if these have been a bit bigger and wider I could have used one and the same as the gate if it had been much much bigger probably four times that size I could have used it in my project um, and then I've got they do two packs sorry about the mess of this because i'm just ordered some new plastic seal bags and i've just stuck all these in here now they do two packs of die cuts in this set they do the original type which were like um like this cardboard really nice and you know they're not flimsy and they're on card they're really carded so they were them ones and then they do the clear which are like this they're like um just plastic they're like acetate um but they're not high raised like these cardboard ones you'll see if i hold that up to that you'll see it you see this one's a lot thicker but I'm glad I got both of them because there's a lot more different designs in each of them. Some are the same, but there is a lot more to work with, so that's great. So I've got all those. Where's my little peg gone? Let's put them over there from that. Um, I got this new mould, this Stamperia one. This complements the series now i could have used one of these doors this would have been perfect but because i've already started this project and i don't i'm putting something on the bottom of my project that needs to be inwards rather than stand outwards so this door would be standing outwards and would interfere with the two objects that i'm going to place on my canvas so I've decided not to do this mould um, and not put that on the background. But these are absolutely gorgeous, these doors and windows. Really nice. Let me pull that back and then you can see it. See it all in? I think you can. They are really, really nice. So you get um, three windows and two doors and one looks basically looks like a fairy door. I don't think I've got a... Give me a second, I'll get a piece of paper. I'm not sure. See, I've only got scrap paper around near me. I don't know if you can see them better on that. Probably not. But they are really pretty. Really, really pretty papers. Let me take that off now. Um, really pretty um, designs, I mean. And then, lastly, they're doing the Sleeping Beauty paints. Now, they're doing them on their new designer papers. They've got the Alice ones with the paints and a couple of others. There's, an, there's a Horses one and um, I think a Romantic. I'm not sure. But these are gorgeous, these colours. And they complement that paperback pad ever so well. Let me bring that back. There's the paper pad, and there's the colours. Can you see? Hang on. Where are you? There you are. Can you see now? Absolutely gorgeous. And you've got that muted red again, you see, and the blue. 
So yeah, I'm really happy with them and um, I can't wait to get started with them. So you've got Indian turquoise, cappuccino, raspberry, ancient pink, gold sand and ivory. And they're all large 60 mils as well. So that's, that is great. So what I've done is I've used some texture paste. Let me hold it up one with the paints on there. Um, no, you probably can't see that, can you? I've used some textured sand paste. Um, the filler bar, yeah, textured white sand paste it's called. And I've used a couple of uh, filler bar stencils as well to get a pattern on there. It's drying at the moment, it's still slightly wet. So when that's dry, I can paint it. So that process is um, near enough done. So that's built up me a background on the back. So I can get on with that when it's dry. I'm itching to make this project now, but it's just waiting for drying times and in-betweens. I've also using, as I said before, of um, that's crafty window i do love their windows they could i call them cathedral windows and i've put some textured paste on this as well so it gives it that ancient look and gives it a little bit of dimension so when that's dry it can go onto the canvas board so this is the first part of the video um should be straight on to the next after this okay guys i've just done this is still wet i've mixed all the colors sorry for bailey in the background i've mixed all the colors and blended them together with sponge um different color sponges for the different colors we've got a lot of texture going on there and a lot of blending blended in parts plus I've actually done this over as well uh, multiple colours just to give it a little bit there's all my colours there that I've used I've used some of the Lindsay stuff as well just to put the sprays down and that as you can see on this bit up here this is really wet still it needs drying out I've got my fan on at the moment so it'll dry quicker but it's come out with a lovely background texture so on to the next part um i've actually finished my canvas now let me get something i can point with and i will show you my canvas so my sleep stamp area or stamp area yeah stamp area i call it um sleeping beauty canvas art is now finished and there we go so what i've done is i've used the paints on the background i've got all the paints i've got all the beautiful paints like this these are the new paints that came with the series all the colors so i've used them on the background i've used some stencils on the background some thinner bar ones i've used the mixture of die cuts i've got both the packs as i've said i think previously sorry i'm splitting the video so i can't remember what actually i said but i got the chipboard die cuts and there's these um flat uh, glossy ones so I've used those so I've intermingled I've used a that's crafty um, arched window there I absolutely love these these fit on most of my projects and I'm nearly out of them now because I've used so many of them I've um, put a chain in here and left it loose can you see that I've left it loose so it dangles when it's standing up it hangs down I think you can see that so 
so I've put the carriage die cut and them with the horses together they were actually separate so I've put brads in the, the wheels and then a brad in the horses near the horse's mouth so it inter intertwines the carriage with the horses with them sitting on top um, I've put some flowers on I've got a lot of um, sparkle on here because I wanted to make it sort of magical I don't know if you're going to be able to see this sparkle but it is absolutely beautiful the sparkle in it I've got torn paper at the back and stamps and as I said stencils I've got um, little gold beads on there flowers from my stash um, the words on here say um, they say if you dream a, a thing more than once it's sure to come true well it did because they met and also there's a fairy going down here as well and she's flying towards the window which is a view of the outside though this is the outside as well <laughs> so but it's a beautiful canvas it's really nice there's a lot of texture a lot of a lot going on that's what I needed it to do so there's the window um where are we where are we let me see where you are um I'm trying to find out I don't know I can't see there's them yeah there you, there you go there's the horse and them and they're going along and it's a beautiful day and they're just enjoying the ride and I think that's come out lovely and thank you so much for watching anyway I've also got the Stamperia what is it called it's like a glitter paste on there but it's so sparkly this is the stuff I used on it it's the Stamperia Arctic Ice and it's beautiful and it dries clear and it's got all this shimmer and glitter in it and I've put that in some places like on the wheels and I don't know if I can pick up this glitter but it's all over and it's really sparkly where's the most, most sparkly bit well the wheel on top of the wheel it's very sparkly and um, I wish you could see this sparkle because it's so nice when you go past the picture but this stuff is great so thank you for watching and I hope you like my canvas and um, I enjoyed making it catch you in the next video bye